In this video, I'm going to go over WordPress pages and also how to set up a menu. So pages are what make up the menu on your WordPress website. It is very easy to create a page and make adjustments within each page of the website, just as it is within a post, which is something we're going to get to as we progress through this series here. So let's take a quick look at the different aspects that make up a page, how to create a page, how to add and delete pages, and then we're going to get into how to setting up our menu with these pages. So let's dive into that. Now back over in the dashboard area or the admin area for WP Fundamentals, we're in under pages right here. We can go to where it says add new. And here I'm going to show you how to create pages. So right here it says add title and this will be the title of your page. So let's say we want to have an about page. And I'm just going to go over here and publish it and click publish again. Now it says page published. Now if we want to we can add another page. We can just hit add new. And I'm going to make this one services. And I'll publish that as well over here on the right side. And I'll add new again. And here I'll make this one called blog. And I'll publish that as well and publish again. Now, if we go back over and we just click pages here, we'll be brought to the pages tab and we can see which pages we have created right here. Let's say we want to delete one, you can just simply trash it and then you would have to remove it from the trash area as well and delete it permanently. And if we want to, we can then set up a menu with these. And I'm going to just go with a quick overview of what a menu is here. So the WordPress menu area is where we would put the pages we have created in order. In this area, we can set primary menus as well as secondary or footer menus. Additionally, we can create drop down menus and custom links easily as well. Let's dive into the dashboard to go over the different aspects within the menu section. So if we're in this area, we're going to want to navigate to appearance and then menus right here. And here we can name our menu. I usually like to make it main menu or primary menu or something like that. And then I'll hit create. And here I'm going to click primary. That's where I want it to be displayed as a primary menu for this. And I'll just go and I'll add these. You can click select all and then add to menu. And now we have our menu and it's in this order about blog and services. Now, if you want, you can do about services blog. You can mix it up. Now, also, if you want to have a drop down menu, let's say you wanted the services to be a drop down of about. Then you could do, do this and just drag it, click hold and drag it. And it will now be a sub item. Now let's say you want blog to be under about as well. You can do that. And now if we have a menu displaying, we'll have a drop down that shows services and blog when we hover over the about link. So if you want three separate pages, you can then just drag them back over, click and drag, and then we'll just save the menu as the primary menu here. Now if we go back over to the site, we can refresh it. And now we see at the top it says about services and blog for the three pages here on our website. So that's how you set up your menu for your primary menu at least. Now you also can have a footer menu which means it will be at the bottom and displayed at the bottom of the page down here for the footer menu. And if we wanted to we can go over to settings, reading, and now we can select where our posts are going to be displayed. So I have a sec separate page that says blog when we go up here. So I don't want my blog to be on the home page. Right now it says your blog posts are going to be displayed on your home page. Up here, your home page displays your latest blog post. So let's say I want it to be a static page and I want it to be my about page for some reason. And then I would want this to be blog right here. And here I would update that. So now if I create a blog post, it will go to this blog page. And the about page here is now my home page when I come to the site. So you can see now it says wpfundamentals.com slash blog slash services. And for about, it doesn't say anything because I made the about page the home page. So if you wanted to create a new page right here, and let's just call this one home. And I'll publish that. And I'll go over to appearance, menus. And now I can add this in as the home page 
save it in the menu. So now we have home, about, services, and blog. Then down here we can go to settings, reading, and here we can now change this to be home to make it our home page. So our home page displays home and the content on that and our blog post page it goes to blog. If we refresh this, now we have a home tab and you'll see home goes to here. About now should go to slash about. It's a whole separate page and the blog again will still be at slash blog for the link structure for the links here in our menu. So that's how you would set up your menu and how you can set up pages very easily. I hope this video was helpful. In the next video, I'm going to go over our themes, which we can find in appearance themes here. And we're going to add a different theme here to liven up the site a little bit and make it have a more aesthetically pleasing look to it. So let's dive into the theme section here next.